This is an ultrasound sensor. We use this sensor to measure distance of an object from the sensor. So the way this sensor works is that you have a transmitter here marked with a T and you have a receiver here marked with an R. And this sensor then emits a sound wave. And if there is no object in front, then the sound wave simply carries on. But if there is an object in front of the sensor, then this sound wave hits the object and is echoed back or reflected back. The returning sound wave is received by the receiver on the sensor. And then the sensor simply uses the formula for distance, which is distance is equal to speed into time. And here the speed is equal to the speed of sound, which is around uh, 341 meters per second. So the way the sensor calculates the distance to an object is it takes the speed of sound, which is 341 meters per second. And then it multiplies it with the time taken for the sound wave to come back. So this is the time taken and it divides it by two because the time taken, the distance is actually half because the time taken for the wave sound wave is that it goes to the object, hits the object and then comes back. So just by using this simple formula, the sensor is able to tell us how far an object is from the sensor. The sensor has got four pins. It's got the voltage pin. It's got the trigger pin. It's got the echo and it's got the ground pin. And this sensor is called HCSR04. So when you come across a new component in electronics, for example, this ultrasound sensor, you just take the exact name HCSR04 and you search for the data sheet. And this will get you lots of data sheet documents and you click on any one of them. The data sheet will tell you about that particular component because it's very important to know exactly what is the working voltage. So here it's uh, five volts, which means that on an Arduino, we will be able to connect the sensor directly on, uh, to the Arduino. The current is 15 milliamperes and like the maximum range for this sensor is four meters and the minimum range is two centimeters, which means that if any object is closer than two centimeter or farther away than four meters, this sensor will not give an accurate reading and the measuring angle for this one is 15 degrees uh, and there is a lot more information. Of course, in this case, uh, the pin out, which pin uh, is used for what is printed on the sensor, but otherwise the data sheet provides you the pin out diagram. Uh, so this is the voltage pin, this is the trigger pin, the echo pin and the ground pin. So this information on the data sheet tells you the compatibility and what you should be careful about like the voltage and the current. So with this understanding of the sensor, let's use Tinkercad to create a circuit for ultrasound sensor using an Arduino. So here I am on tinkercad.com and I've opened a new project and I'm going to change the name of this project and I'm going to call it Arduino ultrasound sensor. So that, you know, we have a name that describes what the project is about. And then I'm going to come on search and I'm going to search for Arduino. So I'm going to get one Arduino Uno. Then I'm going to get ultrasound sensor. So ultrasound sensor, there are two. One is with three pins and one is with four pins. Uh, they work exactly the same way. So I'm going to get the one with the four pins because this is the one you normally find it's more common. And then I'm going to get a breadboard. So I'm going to take the sensor and I'm going to put it here on uh, A8, A9, A10, A11. And then as is a good practice, I'm just going to connect the two power rails of the breadboard so that when we make some connections, there is no confusion. Then from my Arduino, from the five volt pin, I'm going to bring out a wire and I'm going to connect it to the positive rail of my breadboard and I'm going to take one pin from the ground and I'm going to add it this to my breadboard. 
we don't need a additional power supply for this sensor because uh, the Arduino we have we are using the pin which is the uh, 5 volt pin on the Arduino. I'm just going to shift this Arduino a little and I'm going to connect the voltage from the voltage pin I'm going to connect it to the voltage of the breadboard and then I'm going to connect the ground pin to the ground of the Arduino. Then from any of these digital pins, not these analog pins because uh, this sensor is a digital sensor. So from any of these digital pins, we can take, we can make a connection. So I'm going to uh, use maybe pin two. So I'm going to bring out pin two and my pin two will be the trigger and my pin three from the Arduino, I'm going to connect it to the echo pin of the ultrasound sensor. So, so now we have connected the Arduino and now let's write a very simple code. The first thing we want to see is how this sensor works. So uh, we just have to remember that pin two is the trigger and pin three is the echo. So I'm going to start the code. I'm going to delete the preset code. Then I'm going to go to input and I'm going to bring out this this uh, this command which says read ultrasonic distance sensor on trigger. So our trigger is set on pin two. So I'm going to change this to pin two and echo pin, which in our case is pin three. But if you use the three pin ultrasound sensor, then you just leave it at the same pin because the same pin then becomes the trigger pin and the echo pin. But in a four pin sensor, we have set this on pin number three. And then in terms of the units in which the sensor will measure the distance, I'm going to leave it to centimeters. Uh, I am not choosing inches. This will read the uh, distance from the sensor if there is an object in front of the sensor. And it's going to constantly supply that reading uh, to us. So what we want to do is we want to create a variable to store what is the distance. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it distance. And then I'm going to get this set variable command. And if you have more than one variable in the drop down, you'll find all the variables. Uh, so I'm going to say set this variable called distance and store the value that the ultrasonic sensor is generating. And then I'm going to go to output and I'm going to bring out this print to serial monitor command. And all we are saying is in the serial monitor print this value of this variable called distance, which is basically the distance being read by the ultrasonic sensor. So let's test this program. So I'm going to open the serial monitor and then I'm going to start the simulation. And when I click on the sensor, you can see the, the distance of this object from the sensor right here. It's saying that it's 47 inches or 113 centimeters. And the current distance in centimeters is also getting printed on the serial monitor. Then we want to test two things. We want to test the range of the sensor. So the closest I can bring this sensor and get a good reading is around 40 centimeters, which is exactly what the data sheet told us. And in Tinkercad, the maximum I can read, uh, which is an accurate reading is around 313 or let's say 300 odd centimeters. So we know that here we can read the sensor from around 40 centimeters to around 300 centimeters. So let's use this to do something interesting. So what we want to do is we want to say that if uh, an object is very close to the sensor, so let's assume you are building a robotic car and you, you were using this, this ultrasound, uh, this ultrasonic sound sensor, then you wanted to avoid an accident or a collision with an object. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a conditional statement. So we are going to go into control and we are going to get a if then else command. And what we are saying is that if the distance is less than let's say 60 centimeters. So we are going to get a Boolean operator here and we are going to say that if this variable called distance is less than let's say 60 centimeters then one we want to print something on the serial monitor and we don't want to print the distance we want to print something interesting so let's say 
this one is too close so uh, the sensor is going to say uh, the object is too close and otherwise we can duplicate this if the distance is more than 60 centimeter the you know we can print something so let's say we will say it is safe to move forward so now we are going to run the simulation right now the distance is 300 centimeters because the object is 300 centimeters away from the sensor so in on the serial monitor it's saying it's safe to move forward and then if we move the object closer so right now the distance is 155 centimeters and the serial monitor is still saying it's safe to move forward but if the distance is less than 60 then we get a warning message the object is too close you know once you know that this is the logic then you can make make this circuit do whatever you want so for example if we wanted a buzzer to sound or a led to light up if the object is too close we can do that so let's add these components so i'm going to bring an led out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the cathode of the led to the ground and since the two rails are connected so the, the the ground from the arduino is now connected to the led and then i'm going to bring out a resistor so that we can supply the proper voltage then i'm going to from uh, pin number four i'm going to get a wire and connect it to the led so now what we want to do is we want to say that if an object is very close to the sensor then we want to set this pin number four high which will in turn light up the led and if the distance if the object is a safe distance away then we will set the pin low and this led will not glow so let's add this code so we are saying if the distance is less than 60 then in in the output i'm going to get set pin and i'm going to put here set pin 4 to high and i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to put it here and if the distance is more than 60 if it's safe then set the pin low so right now the object is quite close and so our led is lit up and we are getting the message on the serial monitor the object is too close and if i move the object farther away then the led is not lit now so the led is uh, you know is, is not glowing very bright so to correct that i'm just going to i'm going to stop the simulation i'm going to select the resistor and i'm going to reduce the value of the resistor so i'm going to say it's just like around 200 ohms and now if i run the simulation you can see the led nicely lights up and if the distance is more than 60 then the led is off and if the distance is less than 60 then the led lights up and like that you can also add other components you know you can you can make another pin high when the object is close and then to that high pin you can connect a buzzer or a servo motor or some other component so next step let's transfer all of this to arduino so to do that i'm going to launch the arduino ide and then here when i'm in code i'm going to click this drop down and instead of blocks i'm going to select blocks plus text and then i'm going to select all this code copy it come to the arduino id delete what is there and paste this code and then i can validate if this code is fine i'm going to call it arduino ultrasound sensor so it's compiling the sketch and the there are no errors so we can transfer this so i'm going to attach my arduino and in the next video we will see how the physical circuit works on an arduino and breadboard